Let's focus on health now. There are many Kenyans still struggling to raise funds to pay hefty hospital bills at private clinics and hospitals, missing out on the new benefits of the National Hospital Insurance Fund. Our in-house Dr. Masi Kurir now delves into the details of the NHIF and what you may be missing out on. Ismail Moy, a businessman in Machakos, had an unfortunate incident in October of 2016 when he was involved in a road traffic accident. I was able to get a ambulance. I was able to get a hospital in Machakos, level 5. He was later transferred to Kikuyu Hospital for surgery. Luckily for him, the cost of his medical care was the least of his worries. Mengine yalikuwa ni yangu binafsi na malipo mengine nilisaidiwa na NHIF. Later on when he developed pneumonia, his NHIF cover came to his rescue once again. Pale nilienda nikahudumiwa na nilikaa muda wa siku nane katika hospitali. Na kwa kweli katika malipo si kulipa chochote manake NHIF iliweza kunisimamia katika malipo hayo yote. Ismail is one of 6.8 million principal members of the National Insurance Fund, NHIF, which, according to its chief executive officer, Mr. Geoffrey Mwangi, has come a long way. Taking a ratio of uh, three per family, and we talk about the 6.8, we are talking between uh, 18 to 24 million Kenyans are uh, enrolled because the cover covers the principal member, the spouse, and any eligible dependents. The national insurer has been improving benefits to its members. We opened up with the surgical packages, which have received tremendous uh, liking from, from our members. We are currently uh, doing a cardiac program to try and alleviate the burden which, which has been there. We have other packages, dialysis, CT scan, MRI, and we are looking to pay out 85% uh, of our total contribution should, what should go back to as benefit packages. The total contributions made to NHIF every year is about 40 billion from its various schemes. However, members at times do not enjoy all the benefits outlined. Vitu nezasema maybe NHIF wei kuweza kunesimamia ni zile picha za kupigwe x-ray za nje. Manake hospitali sometimes wanasema hawana zile machini. This is not only a sentiment by Ismail. Nikatoa elfu moja ni ya kuenda kupimwa nje na siya hata hapo ndani level five. NHF nasumia kitanda na siyo full amount nasumia kiwangu fulani. This is despite accreditation of the health facilities, an exercise that should guarantee quality care. And we need to know what services are you able to give so that we know what contractual obligations do we sign together and how do we reimburse you for the services you give? These services are now not limited to inpatient and outpatient only. We have a provision for emergency that if you fall sick, go to any facility, they treat you, they ask questions later. Kindly elaborate on the emergency ambulance services that you have announced. Before it was for select, now we have rolled it to all paid uh, NHIF members on emergency basis. Even with the introduction of these new benefits, health insurance has been challenging for most Kenyans who end up paying out of pocket for their medical services or that of their loved ones. Iku inafatilia uzi hospitali. Mambo ya outpatient hospitali, zikuwe zinashugulikia nini wagonjwa, hata kama ni registration. Ismail's experience was different though. Unahudumiwa vizuri, Hata uwezi ya amini ya kwamba kama ni NHIF itasimamia yale malipo siyo pesa ya mfukoni ya tatoka ya kusimamia. Are there plans to have NHIF as a universal cover for all Kenyans across the country regardless of whether they are formally employed or informally employed? Because the kind of premium we are leaving, 500 bob per informal sector per month, that is 6,000 per family per, per annum, it can only give you certain... Uh, uh, benefits 
but if we pulled resources together, there is no stopping. For many, the high cost of private insurance or poor quality of public health services gives them little or no faith in the value of health insurance. But the national insurer is slowly emerging to bridge the gap and allow Kenyans their constitutional right to the highest attainable quality of health. Dr. Masikorir, KTN News.